Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you want to know how bad the camera of the Honor Magic V2 is, then this video is for you. Watch it until the end to see if this camera is bad or not. So one main point of discussion always is how good is the camera of this phone. Because I think we all know hardware wise it's a great phone. The software is so and so, so it's not really bad, but also not really great when compared to other phones. Uh, but I personally, I can live with the software. But now the question is how good or bad is the camera? And when I started using the Honor Magic V2, I always said the camera is not that bad. It's quite okay. But uh, I read a lot of questions under my videos and also in comment sections of other videos. And a lot of people asked, how good is the camera? Can you use it? Is it bad? Is it good? And I wanted to give you an objective opinion. And also I wanted to test it myself. So I went outside and shot some images with the Honor Magic V2's camera. And I compared it against a phone where it's kind of universally accepted that it has good image quality. And this is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And I really put them side by side, not to see if it's better than the S24, but to see how good is the image quality when you have kind of a standard flagship phone with good image quality. I tested the ultra wide, the wide and the telecamera. I tested macro mode portrait mode, I tested photography in low light situations and I also tested photography in uh, with night mode, so in really dark uh, situations outside and I also tested video quality with the main lens because that's the best one in, in both cases. Some words of caution, it's really difficult to compare the image quality especially of modern day smartphones because there is so much processing going on in the background. Um, there is AI, there is scene recognition, there is sharpening, there is HDR effects, um, brightening shadows, darkening highlights, so much going on. Um, what I did is I left the settings like there were when the smartphones came out of the box. I did not change anything. So it's really kind of point and shoot situation. Uh, I did not use RAW. I did not uh, um, um, change any brightness, saturation settings and stuff like this. So the images I will show you now are really like out of the box images. And at least at the moment, I don't know a better way to compare um, image quality of smartphones. Even if you use RAW, it's not really raw, especially for, for example, the S24 Ultra also, when you use a raw image, there is some processing and you, you cannot rule that out like um, in a mirrorless camera, for example, where raw in most cases is really raw. So please keep that in mind. Uh, when I, for example, say this image is sharper than the other, it could very well be due to um, sharpening in post. And in some cases you also will see that some phone does this worse than the other and it's really a mixed bag sometimes um, how the smartphones uh, do the processing. So as you can imagine this will also be a lengthy video because I think it's just not enough to look at five images and say one phone is better than the other. I tried to test many situations, many lenses um, and many environments to see to give you a, a general overview about image quality of the Honor Magic V2. Um, and this takes some time and you need to look through some images to get an idea uh, how the image quality is. So um, I will use captions throughout the video. So feel free to jump ahead or jump back to different sections of the video. If you, for example, are only interested in the, in the wide lens or in the tele lens. Um, also feel free to directly jump to the verdict, it's uh, of course not good for the algorithm, but I don't care. If you just want to have a summary of my findings, then uh, also feel free to directly jump to the verdict. And also feel free to ask me questions and comment uh, under this video if you want to see more or if you want to, to know anything else besides that um, I mentioned in the video. 
Okay, so let's go. I already prepared some albums and we're going to start with the white camera. So this is the 1X in the S24 Ultra and the 1X in the Magic V2. Um, so starting with this image, and I think I always will also uh, go into a one by one in a 100% view. Um, so I think these images are very comparable. The colors are slightly different in the Magic V2, which is always on the right side of the screen or of the window. Um, yeah, so very comparable image, slightly different colors, likely more saturation in the Magic V2 and slight green cast in case of the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but that's good. Next image. Also here you can see that um, the colors are different in this case. I think the Galaxy S24 Ultra produced a more natural look. Uh, this green here looks a little bit unnatural. Now let's go into 100% and then you can see that uh, the V2 produced some really unnatural processing here and also some sharpening. So in this case I prefer the image of the S24 Ultra because although with all the settings I made in the S24 Ultra there is of course processing, I think in this case the processing is more minimal um, than in the Magic V2. Next image also here I really prefer the S24 Ultra, this is just some wood. And as you can see, there is more detail preserved in the S24 Ultra, although both phones, again, did some pretty heavy processing, as you can see in the branches here. But when you look at the image like this, this is again an, an example where I prefer the S24 Ultra. Then next image, this is just a tree. and We need to exchange it here. Um, in this case, again, more saturation in the Magic V2. And when we zoom in, in this case, I don't really see a difference between the Magic V2 and the S24 Ultra. So this would be really an image where I said that, was, uh, that would be a draw. Then next image. Oops. That was the wrong one. Here again you can see that um, there is more saturation in um, the Magic V2's image. Also the Magic V2 tried to boost the shadows more so it has more of an HDR look. S24 in this case looks more natural and I also prefer the color of the S24 Ultra. Although I prefer the color of the, um, of, of the red here. But as you can see, also the Magic V2 produced some really heavy um, processing artifacts. So S24 Ultra with the more natural image. Then the next image, this is also quite interesting because here you can see that there is more sharpness, but most likely related to processing in the S24 Ultra, especially when you look at the stickers here. You can see that the S24 Ultra produced a sharper image. Also, when you look at the bus here, more details with the S24 Ultra, but most likely due to sharpening. Then another image. This is just me standing on top of a sign. And here I have to say here I prefer the image of the Magic V2 because the S24 Ultra used too much sharpening as you can see. So in this case the Magic V2 produced a more natural image due to lower post-processing. 
And you, as you can see, this is uh, still the white lens. In this image, I have to say, I think both are, both are great. Nothing I prefer here. When you zoom in a little bit more detail due to the algorithm of the S24 Ultra, but very, very comparable. Also this image, nothing special, but also very comparable um, images. Fine details are a little bit worth in the Magic V2. As you can see in the um, trees and branches, but in general trees, branches, fine structures like this can also be a problem in the S24 Ultra. In general, very comparable again. Let's look at this image. Also, this image, very comparable. Um, the Magic V2, this time a little bit more muted, but really hard to choose a winner here. Let's zoom in. Yeah, also very comparable. So, no clear winner in this case. Here you can again see that um, colors can be different and also contrast. The Magic V2 produced a slightly bluer image. The sky is more blue and also the color of the bricks and the, the building, more saturation. When we zoom in, and this is most likely due to the algorithm of the S24 Ultra that was improved when text is part of the image, then it improves the processing of the image. So here, quite objectively, you have more sharpness and more detail in um, the S24 Ultra image. But also it's, to me, seems slightly unnatural. Here you can see it quite clearly. When you look at the bricks here, much more detail preserved in the S24 Ultra. Then let's go to the ultra wide lens and there's fewer photos to examine here. Taking this one. So ultra wide on the left again, S24 Ultra on the right, Magic V2. Very good photos, very comparable, no clear winner here. Then this image, again, hard to pick a winner. Next image, again the lake. Slightly more saturation in the Magic V2. And looking at the distance, not really great in both cases because of the processing and the sharpening. Magic V2 perhaps a little worse. Also here when you look at the lawn. But looking at them like this and uploading them to social media, it's really, really hard to, um, to pick a winner here. And this is really the case for a lot of images I took in daylight situations when there is enough light. In this case, I, I prefer the Magic V2 because it's a little bit punchier. So in daylight, and this was a slightly overcast day, but definitely enough light to work with, it's really head to head, neck to neck, sometimes the S24 Ultra applied too much post-processing, sometimes uh, the, the Magic V2, and especially if you don't pixel peep, that's really hard to pick a winner. We have this restaurant again, sky slightly more blue in the Honor Magic V2. Let's zoom in. In this case, I have to say I prefer the Honor Magic V2's image because there is quite surprisingly quite some noise in the S24 Ultra's image. Also, as you can see, processing is nearly the same. So in this case, I really would say I prefer the Honor Magic V2. So that's the ultra wide, and also the ultra wide is not the best lens of the S24 Ultra. So really the, the Honor Magic V2 can 
definitely keep up with both the wide and ultra wide. Then let's go to Tele. Very comparable. So this is now um, the, the Tele lens. So for the S24 Ultra, it's a three times. And for the Magic V2, it's a 2.5 times um, Tele. And this is where you see a difference in the image. Uh, but other than that, zooming in, um, yeah, I mean, zooming in, the, the lawn looks strange in the Magic V2, but also not very good um, in the S24 Ultra when you look them at, at, at normal. Um, yeah, not in large, so to say, not in 100% view. Very comparable images. Then um, I took a, a 10x um, image with both of them. So in case of the S24 Ultra, it then chooses the 5x lens and crops in. And in case of the Magic V2, it takes the two time, uh, two point five times, and also crops in. And it's no surprise that the Magic V2 in this case is much worse because it has to digitally zoom a lot more than the S24 Ultra. So with higher zoom and higher magnifications, of course, the S24 Ultra is winning. But I have to say also the S24 Ultra is not looking very good in this case. I tried this again here just to see where um, you have really an advantage with the S24 Ultra when you want to zoom in more because a lot of digital zoom leads to really bad results in the Magic V2, but that's uh, that's to be expected. Uh, that's to be expected. Uh, this is again the three times and 2.5 times. In this case, the first first impression is that the Magic V2 looks better. But also you can see that there are a lot of sharpening artifacts, especially here in the trees, also the buildings behind. So in this case, I would prefer the Galaxy. Uh, this is not really relevant. And also this is an, again, three times and 2.5 times. Yeah, also here the Galaxy is much better. A lot of sharpening artifacts in the Magic V2. Then the next image, and this is a quite funny example. I used a 40 times zoom. Uh, and as, as you can see, don't do it. Don't use 40 times zooms and a lot of digital zoom with the Magic V2. Of course, um, the Galaxy is winning. But I just wanted to include this to show you um, that especially when using zoom, the Galaxy is a clear winner here. And this can really make a difference between a non-usable photo and a quite usable photo in case of these ducks here. I mean, you can, you can see it, right? So high zooms, not good with the Magic V2. And what's this? Yeah, this are just some bricks kind of to, to examine the sharpness. Um, also, in this case, I prefer the Galaxy S24 Ultra because the Magic V2, yeah, a lot of artifacts. So, at this point, you can see when using the ultra wide and wide, I think the Magic V2 is really good and can keep up with the S24 Ultra, but especially when you use zoom. Also the native zoom and and additionally then um, the digital zoom. This is really where the S24 Ultra starts to outperform the Magic V2. Then let's go to the next section and this is macro. So this is uh, some moss on a tree and both phones produced a comparable result. No image is preferable next to the other. So this is as close I could get. And in this case, I would say I also prefer, and not also, I would prefer the Magic V2's image. 
really um, surprising how good the macro capabilities of the Magic V2 are. Also, this is an interesting example. Um, here also I would say I prefer the Magic V2 and I tried it another time. And again, don't know what um, the S24 Ultra is doing. I think the S24 Ultra didn't switch to macro mode here and the Magic V2 does. If you zoom into this flower here, um, it's really surprising to see all this noise in the S24 Ultra's image and a very clear image for the Magic V2. So I don't know what the S24 Ultra was doing here. Also in the other example, you can see how much the, uh, the, the Samsung is adjusting here to the image. So in this case also um, clear winner. Um, and the next image, uh, the color is better on the Magic V2 when we zoom in to both images. Yeah, so in this case, details are, hmm, I don't know, perhaps slightly better on the S24 Ultra, but in general, I prefer this image because the color is more natural. Also, um, the background defocus is more natural with the Honor Magic V2. Then uh, this image is not sharp, and then I had some flowers. Also, in this case, I prefer the honors image at first sight you would say the galaxy looks better because the colors are more intense but when we zoom in we can really see some really bad processing on the s24 ultra and very busy fine structures here so this is really destroys the whole image and the honor isn't doing that so it much more natural and the final macro image, um, again, you can see that there are a lot of artifacts from sharpening and processing in the S24 Ultra. And also here, the Magic V2 produced a much more natural image. Um, and you can, of course, work on the image and slightly bump um, the saturation and make it even better. So I would say, surprisingly, um, macro, I like the Honor Magic V2's image more. Then let's go to portrait. You can see, if you zoom in, that um, the Magic V2 has more po problems to generate um, convincing blurred background. You can also clearly see that it has more problems to uh, cut out the image, right? You have some artifacts here around the ears and around the edges. This is much better in the S24 Ultra. Also, the defocus effect is much better because it's not only the background, but also the sides of the face and also the ears. Um, so this is much more convincing much um, more realistic than just cutting out the subject and blurring the background because you have artifacts and with a normal lens also you can you can see it here right so the s24 ultra also blurred my shoulders and part of the color um, and this makes the image much more convincing than the honor magic v2 and another portrait shot and also in this case it's quite clear that the S24 Ultra wins. Look at my my arms here. They are defocused. Also, again, part of the shoulders, not as strong in this case. Also, the ears. But the distance is different, so it makes sense that the ears are not so defocused and blurry. Some errors here on the head, but other than that, I'm. it's really really good um, portrait mode on the S24 Ultra. I cannot see any artifacts and uh, also here with the beard hairs, really, really good portrait mode and uh, really good masking. Uh, Honors image 
heavy processing on the jacket, very much uh, a lot of sharpening and also artifacts. Look at this here around the head, also here on top. Look at this. So portrait mode, clear winner. Here is the S24 Ultra. Then um, the next category is low light. Um, and also this was quite surprising for me. Um, so this was a, quite a dark situation. So both phones tried to increase exposure. But look at the difference between the S24 Ultra and uh, the Honor. You have more sharpness here. The S24 Ultra's image is full of artifacts, completely unsharp. So this is really an image that for me would not be usable. Clear difference, clear winner here, the Honor Magic V2. Also, the color of the backpack is much more natural um, than the color of the image the S24 Ultra produced. Next image, also this is in a, in a really dark room. And here I also would say Honor is winning in this low light shot because look at all the noise uh, that is in the image of the S24 Ultra. Also when you zoom in, no comparison. So this was on auto settings using the One X lens. And um, I, I was really, really surprised how much difference is in this images and I don't know what uh, the S24 Ultra is trying here but also this image is not usable. Then in this case uh, also in a dark room and also <laughs> excuse the dirty shelves here. Um, Honor Magic V2 a little brighter. Galaxy S24 a little darker and, and the trend continues a lot of noise, a lot of processing artifacts uh, in the Galaxy's image and I really, in this case, in the, lighting, um, the lighting situation was really bad, but I still prefer the Honor Magic V2 here. Then another image, more total, it's, uh, I mean here it's the same. In this case, yeah, the S24 Ultra did a better job, but looking at sharpness, clarity, stuff like this, I still prefer the Honor Magic V2. As you can see in general, in low light situations, surprisingly, I was able to produce better results with the Honor Magic V2 and worse results with um, the S24 Ultra. This is low light, so this is, not, this is not complete darkness, but this is low light. We're now coming to night mode. So I went outside and uh, shot some photos. Let's look at the images. So S24 Ultra, Honor Magic V2. And what you can see is that the, um, the details are completely lost in the, uh, in the Honor's image, right? So if you look at the grass also here, uh, it's really like it has this weird Oil, paint, oil painting um, effect and all the fine details uh, start to mush, to be mushed together. Look at the, the bricks here. It's much better in the S24 Ultra. Also, next image. Let's zoom in. A lot better. This was, I think, also a tele shot. No, it was a normal lens. Uh, oops, this one, you can see the same, not very good in case of the honors image. Then we have something with street lights, when we zoom in and look at the cyclist here, it's not very good um, in the S24 Ultra, also when you look at the sign up here, but it's completely washed out and uh, look at the the street sign you cannot read it you can read it in case of the s24 ultra also the street here no chance to read it on the honor magic v2 um, next image i think now i used the tele lens yeah and also here 
S24 Ultra is the clear winner. It has more noise, and uh, but it preserved more details in the honors image is completely gone. Let's continue with this image. Also here you can see the same, um, the same problem with all the washed out details. And perhaps one last image. Um, street. When we zoom into uh, the image, you can see that this is really. It it looks more really. It looks like a painting. So there are no. Also here the car. So, with night mode, I have to say, the S twenty four Ultra is really the clear winner. Okay, so last but not least, let's have a look at some video files. And on the right side again is the Honor Magic V2, on the left side is the S24 Ultra. And immediately I need to pause the video to show you that it's similar to the photo mode, the videos are much more processed more saturation, more sharpness, uh, and with this comes also artifacts. So in general, I really, and I can enlarge this, to show you, yeah, if you, if you enlarge it, it's, yeah, it doesn't look very good. When it's small, it's okay, but when you when you enlarge it and let's enlarge the S24 Ultra's video, it's better. It's not very good because you see a lot of sharpening, over sharpening, but it's, it's worse on the S uh, on the Magic V2. But I wanted to see how stabilization looks, and stabilization actually looks fine on the on the V2. Another example and it's always the same. Let's enlarge it again. Not a very good file. Not very good. A lot of a lot of artifacts. So this is really where um, I would say the honor has a disadvantage and the video files are not very good. When you view them on a small screen, I think it's okay, but if you view them on a big screen, you really see the problems with the videos. Then I think I did some additional stabilization test. So in these videos I started I started running and running starts now you can see that when running stabilization of the S24 Ultra is better but the Honor Magic V2 can keep up, I would say. And the last video sample is kind of a vlogging test. And as you can see, it's, it's okay, but it's not great. And to be honest, I would rather have a softer video and be able to sharpen it in post than to have an over sharpened video because this you are not able to rescue so video on the honor magic v2 not the strongest i have to say okay now let's sum this all up in general i have to say i was quite surprised how good the camera quality of the honor magic v2 is um it's good, it's not bad, 
but it's also not great. It's not on flagship level. And this means you have less flexibility, right? So the camera quality is very good when you have enough light, when you are outside, when you use the white or the ultra white, perfectly fine. It's always very hard for me to uh, see a difference between a smartphone like the S24 Ultra and the Magic V2. The problems really start when you um, go into different situations. If you want to use special modes like portrait mode, S24 clearly better than the Honor Magic V2, as I showed in the video. If you use night mode, uh, night photography, not a good idea with the Honor Magic V2. The images will really quickly fall apart when you have no light and the phone starts to use night mode. In low light situations, indoors, I was quite surprised, and I think I also said it in, in this part, how good the quality of the Honor Magic V2 was in comparison to the S24 Ultra. And I think also here you, you can see that post-processing is a big difference uh, in these situations because the S24 Ultra completely destroyed the image with very heavy processing, whereas um, the Honor Magic V2 did uh, far less processing and this is also why the image quality I, th I think was much better than the S24 Ultra. Um, but in general the consistency I think of the S24 Ultra is far better across all um, the lenses, zoom ranges, lighting conditions. With the Honor Magic V2 there is definitely more thinking involved. What are the situations? What is the mode I'm in? With the S24 Ultra, also with the Pixel 8 Pro, for example, you can be sure every mode you use, be it portrait, ultra wide, whatever, you will get an acceptable result. And this is not the case with the Honor Magic V2. I hope this was interesting to you. If you have any questions, just leave them at the comments. I'm more than happy to discuss it with you. And besides that, I would be more than delighted to welcome you in one of my next videos. Until then, take care and bye.